Yeah, I was a huge fan. I, you know, I saw the first film when I was maybe 14, so it hit me right at the perfect age when I was just really curious about the world, and I think this, this, these films sort of make you even more so. Um, and, they, and the films hold up, and when I knew that F. Gary Gray was involved, I love his work, and, and that Chris was involved, I really jumped at the chance to re-team with him and, and to be a part of this universe. It was great, you know, it's, it's, he's such a giving actor and so kind and so fun and so funny and has such dexterity and to get to play a really different role and to find new spaces in our dynamic but to know that we have this sort of instant rapport was a gift. I play Agent M and unlike, you know, we've seen in the, in the previous films, uh, Men in Black goes to recruit uh, someone that's promising, and in this case, she seeks out the men in black. She has an experience with aliens when she's a little girl, and her parents are neuralized, and she gets a glimpse of this organization, and it sort of changes her, her life in a way, and she spends the rest of her life looking for the organization and finally tracks them down and convinces them to let her uh, come on as a probationary officer, and when she does, she's sent to London, and hilarity ensues when she meets Chris and his character. Yeah, so obviously the film is called MIB International, and so it really has an international scope. Um, and it meant that we got to travel to such incredible locations like Marrakesh, and we were in the Sahara, and um, Ischia, and Italy, and Paris, and New York. Um, and, you know, I think it adds a real sort of uniqueness to this film that the, the previous films don't have, because they're sort of squarely in the island of New York City and very contained. Uh, and our world has real yeah, scope, as I said. Um, and additionally, it was just fun. It felt like we were on vacation. <laughs> I think he brings a real, you know, um, sort of, because of the work that he's done, he's done both action, um, you know, in Fast and Furious movies and f f comedy in the form of films like Friday, but getting to really meld those those worlds together, um, and and he was so good at real scope, you know, um, and and action and all that stuff. And then also he just gave us such freedom. He really trusted, you know, Chris and myself. So we would do a take, you know, we would we would always do a take for us that he would say for us, and it was when we can just go completely off the rails. Um, and I think that's really important in, in comedy and something like this to feel like you can just be free to make a fool out of yourself and, and go all over the place and someone's going to be your cheerleader, which Gary was.